Hello YouTube, this is Mark behind the camera with my new haircut. Uh, a few people commented that I looked like the star on uh, some TV show. Woo! On this episode of Slow and Quiet. But I, I don't see what, what they're getting at there. Anyway, this is the aftermath of replacing the universal joint in the rear of my GMC pickup. Uh, it hadn't been greased in years by the looks, and when I tried to grease it by removing the end caps that hold the drive shaft onto the yoke, uh, I started putting some grease in the fitting. It was You couldn't get to it with the drive shaft on. Some of the grease came out the end here, and it popped this cap right off, and most of the roller bearings fell out. Some of the roller bearings were broken. They weren't even in one piece. So uh, another cap, this one here, you can see how rusty the inside is. When I dumped this one out, that's this mess over here. It's just a big pile of rust. That's what used to be the needle bearings. And when I say needle bearings, here's what they look like from one of the other caps. Most of them still intact. But the rest of this stuff is just stuff that was inside the universal joint caps here, the end caps that go onto the universal joint. That's where the grease is supposed to go when you grease it. If it doesn't, this is what happens. This is one of the needle clips that goes on the caps that hold them in place. Uh, they come with four, use all four of them. Whoever replaced this universal joint only used two. So when they put the drive shaft back in the yoke, they didn't put on the two that center the drive shaft up and down within the yoke itself on the drive shaft. So that explained a little bit of vibration I was getting, which is gone now, now that I've replaced it and used all four of the clips on uh, the end caps themselves. There are a lot of videos on YouTube about changing this out. That's why I didn't record the actual method of using this impact socket with the end of the drive shaft sitting on here, the other end sitting on a piece of cardboard. Then I used good old mini Thor here, the mini Thor hammer, <laughs> to uh, pound that, those caps down through the drive shaft after applying some PB blaster to it to loosen it up. And this stuff really works good at, loos at uh, loosening rusty parts. So this is why it's important to keep your universal joints greased up. Okay, gang? All right, thanks for watching. Sorry it's been so long since uh, previous videos. I'll try to make some more every now and then and stay greasy out there.